Welcome. In this video, we will go over our self-hosted remote support and remote access solution, Splashtop On-Prem. Splashtop On-Prem is a secure, high-performance on-premises solution for remote access, remote control, and remote support to any device. This all-in-one solution offers both an unattended anytime access and attended on-demand connections making it the perfect solution for all your remote access needs. Enable employees to access work computers from anywhere and IT and help desks to efficiently support computers and devices, all while hosting on your own servers. Our agenda for today's tutorial includes the following topics. Download and initial setup, user creation and grouping, unattended access and support, attended access and support, the user portal, the management portal, and system configuration. Let's get started. Splashtop on-prem is made up of three separate components, the Splashtop gateway, the on-prem app, and the Splashtop streamer. To begin, visit splashtop.com slash downloads and click on-prem. From here, click on the download icon for Splashtop gateway. Gateway is the central server that authenticates, secures, and connects users and devices. This is designed to install on a Windows PC server. After installing the Splashtop Gateway, we must activate our license. Once the installation is complete, launch the Splashtop Gateway web console, click Next to accept the terms and conditions, and create a password for the database admin to bootstrap the database as well as a password for on-prem support to access the database. Next, enter the team or company name and the team owner credentials. With that, we have finished configuring the on-prem gateway. To configure your license, log into your Splashtop account and under license, activate your online license. Enter your email and the license key provided to you from our support onboarding, and that's it. You will now see all of the features that are enabled on your license. Next, from the Gateway Web Console, go to Management, Deployment, and click Add Deployment. This will create a new deployment package, which is your streamer setup file with configured default settings. After configuring your settings for this deployment package, you can click Deploy, and from here, you can download the streamer directly to the computer you are on, or copy the link and share it to the computers you want to be able to connect to. Lastly, from the Downloads tab, you can download the Splashtop on-prem app to any computer that you want to connect from. After we have installed the necessary applications, it's time to look at how we can create users and groups for our team. Log into the Splashtop Gateway web portal, and on the left-hand side, under Management, click Grouping and create as many groups as you need. I'm going to go ahead and I'll create Group 1 and Group 2. You can effectively manage access to certain computers by creating groups and assigning them certain permissions. Now, let's go to Users and create the users that we need for our team. You can either add a local user or utilize existing Active Directory or single sign-on users within your organization. I'm going to go ahead and as I'm doing this, I'll assign User1 to Group1 and I'll assign User1 as a member. I selected Add. And now I'm going to create a second user. I'm going to go ahead and I'll name this user user2. And I'm going to assign user2 to group2, also as a member. And for user2, I'll go ahead and I'll assign attended support. For both, I've also allowed web console access. You can also change or add the group after you create the user using the gear icon. We can also set a group as a connection pool allowing a user to connect to their group and Splashtop will automatically assign them to an available computer, which can be helpful for computer labs with similar devices where a user doesn't necessarily need to connect to a specific computer. They just need to connect to any of the computers within the group that are not being used at the moment. Next, let's look at how to set up unattended access and support. After installing the on-prem app and streamer, and assigning the computers in the Gateway Web Console, you are ready to connect to your computer remotely. Simply open the Splashtop on-prem app, and you will see the computer with Streamer installed 
listed in your computer window. Double click on this computer name and you will connect to it. Once connected, you will see the remote computer screen and be able to control the computer, just as if you were sitting in front of it. At the top, you will see the splash top menu bar. The menu bar shows our disconnect icon, switch monitor icon, additional multi-monitor settings, view settings, device redirection, including access to our Wacom tablet integration with Wacom Bridge. Wacom Bridge allows you to use a Wacom tablet to draw and transmit authentic strokes to a remote computer with no visible lag. Next is our full screen icon, our control alt delete function, session recording, file transfer, the actions menu, and our remote chat. Our view settings lets you adjust the zoom, frames per second, view only capabilities, and more. Our actions menu lets you blank the screen, lock the keyboard and mouse, and more based on your subscription. With this, you will have everything you need for unattended remote access. On the business app, you can also see endpoints on your computer list they utilize Splashtop Connector. Splashtop Connector allows you to remotely access computers and servers through Splashtop without using VPN or installing a remote access agent. This allows you to support computers on internal networks that don't have internet access or don't allow a third-party app to be installed. Connector supports RDP, VNC, and SSH protocols for connecting to your endpoint and leveraging existing terminal services. Next, let us take a look at the attended access usage. When you want to access a computer or mobile device without prior installation and with the end user present at the computer. To get started with attended access, visit the SOS tab in the on-prem web gateway, and this will give you the link you can send to your client to get started. After the client downloads the SOS app for on-prem, they will be able to tell you the nine-digit SOS session code that's shown on their screen when they open the application. If needed, they can also manually adjust the gateway address from the settings tab. Once ready, you can use the SOS code that is given to connect from the on-prem app by clicking on the SOS icon on the top menu bar and entering the nine-digit session code from your client. You can then choose to connect either as a standard user or you can elevate the session privilege to admin to interact with user account control prompts, perform admin level operations, and gain the ability to reboot and reconnect to the computer without losing your session. This nine digit code is a unique temporary code that will be regenerated anytime the SOS app is reopened. If the customer keeps the SOS app open, you can use the same nine digit SOS code, but if they close the app and open it again later, it will create a new nine digit code for connections. Along with our standard SOS usage, we also have Splashtop Service Desk available. Service Desk provides not only a new interface for users to monitor and manage attended sessions, but also an opportunity to enhance users' workflows. You don't need to wait for a new nine-digit code generated from the end user side each time when starting an attended remote connection. Instead, let's go ahead and take a look at Service Desk. From the web console, you can click the Service Desk button on the left-hand side menu bar or directly from the on-prem client app at the top menu bar next to the SOS icon. Here you'll see the new Service Desk console and all of its new capabilities. We'll be able to see the technician groups or channels on the left and our session queue on the right-hand side. IT managers can create different channels to segment technicians into different groups and determine support session routing. Channels can be created based on a variety of different criteria, such as technician expertise, departmental functions, and more. In addition to general channel settings, you can also assign roles and privileges to individual technicians and groups that are assigned to each channel. 
a technician can also be assigned to multiple channels if needed. With Splashtop Service Desk, there are multiple ways to begin a remote session, including technician-initiated connections using support links or PIN codes, allowing for flexibility in how support requests are initiated and managed depending on the situation. With these capabilities, you'll see increased technician efficiency with our routing and organization, faster resolution time thanks to technician collaboration, and an overall enhanced customer support experience. After viewing our remote sessions, let's dive deeper into the Splashtop Gateway web console. First, we'll view the members portal. This is what a team member will see when they log into the Gateway web console. As we can see, the user has access to less pages than owner and admin accounts. The computers page will show a list of all of the computers that they have access to and can allow them to reboot the computer and view properties. The devices page will allow them to see any computers they have used to log into their Splashtop on-prem account and allow them to remove any entries to force that device to re-authenticate. Looking at the logs, a user will have access to various log reports. Next, the downloads page will show shortcuts to download the Splashtop on-prem app and streamer for any operating system. The user can also view the account settings page which will allow them to change their user email, password, display name, time zone, and set up two-step verification. Within the web console, you can also check out our web app. The web app allows you to establish Splashtop remote connections directly from your browser to your remote computer without having to install the Splashtop on-prem client app. First, the team owner must enable the web app from the team settings for attended and unattended access. Once done, when a user goes to start a new connection, they'll be given the option to connect using the on-prem desktop app or connect directly via the web browser. The web app provides a limited set of features compared to the des desktop app, but it'll still allow you to connect, switch monitors, and adjust your view settings, and this can be beneficial if you cannot install applications on the computer you're connecting from. Next up is our management portal. This is what admins and the team owner will see when logging in. After logging in, an admin has access to more pages than standard members due to the pages under the management tab. An admin can view the users page to view all users on the Splashtop team and add standard users or Active Directory and SOS users. SSO users. For any user, an admin can also help assign computers and groups, change their role or display name, reset the user's password, disable, remove the user, help configure two-step verification, or enable or disable SOS attended access. The All Computers page is like the Computers page except it will show all computers on the team instead of those just assigned to the user. This page is used to assign computers to users and manage other computer functions directly from the management console. Similarly, the All Devices page allows you to view all the devices that are authenticated on the team instead of just your own. With this, you can see what devices are logged into the Splashtop on-prem instance and remove any to force them to authenticate again for security purposes. Our grouping page allows you to view and create groups for the team, where you can assign specific users and computers to each of these groups. Our scheduled access feature allows you to configure users and computers so that users can only connect to a specific computer at a specific time. This can be very helpful for connecting users to a remote lab during specific hours, for example. The deployment page allows you to manage your streamer deployments, which handles your streamer install and the default streamer configuration. You can create different deployment packages, which have separate install settings and configurations for each deployment. Along with deployment packages, you can also create preference policies which allows you to remotely configure the streamer settings of your deployed endpoints without having to reinstall streamer. Next, our one-to-many actions and schedule pages 
allows you to manage our one-to-many functionality. With our one-to-many tools, you can do the following across multiple computers simultaneously. You can reboot your systems, install Android APKs, and dispatch files out across your systems. You can also schedule out any of these actions to perform at a specified time or run them instantly once they've been created. Next, let's move on to our team settings. This is where you can manage all of the team-wide settings available for Splashtop on-prem. This includes being able to enable or disable specific features team-wide, such as file transfer, remote print, remote reboot, and more. Here, you can also integrate SOS with your ticketing system, enabling you to launch an SOS session directly within your ticket. You also have access to the authentication settings where you can set up single sign-on or add an Active Directory server to your on-prem instance. In addition to being able to access logs from the web console, Splashtop log events can also be sent to a syslog server or SIM, Security Information and Event Management, tool that supports syslog in your local environment, such as Splunk or Sumo Logic. From the management portal, you can also access our open API settings. One use for Splashtop open API access is to seamlessly integrate SOS with your existing support systems, like what is achieved via our pre-built integrations with NSP, Fresh Service, Jira Service Desk, Zendesk, and more. This helps make support and troubleshooting a breeze, allowing you to generate SOS support session links with ease, retrieve logs, and enhance support capabilities. These APIs not only streamline support processes, but also lead to faster issue resolution, improved end user satisfaction, and more efficient IT support operations. Now, let's look at what is available for system configuration. After logging into an admin account, you'll see that you have access to the system tab, where you can access the system configuration. You can view the system status, network settings, and you can change the port being used. From our security settings, you can choose to disable previous TLS versions. From access control, you can enable web console access with IP restrictions. So only specific IP addresses can connect to the web console or the on-prem app. From notifications, you can set up a notification that will be sent to your users. On the software tab, you can view our latest software component versions. Within the Maintenance tab, you can backup and restore settings. The License tab allows you to view and update your license, and the About tab allows you to view information about the installed Gateway version. Today, we took a quick look at Splashtop on-prem and all of its available capabilities. If you want to go more in-depth on any of these features, I highly recommend checking out the Splashtop on-prem support knowledge base for more information. Thank you so much again for viewing this overview of Splashtop on-prem. To get started, visit splashtop.com slash on-prem to learn more.